seven years back, I found myself a single mom. And I lived in my van for a while. We basically couldn't go to our house. And I had to find a job and a place to live. Lynn Chartra is a single mother of two. In the past seven years, she's gone from living in a van to renting an apartment, from being unemployed to working full time. Her success is partly thanks to the benefits that helped her pay for rent and food. Her new income means she's no longer eligible for most of the benefits she once relied on. The problem is, she still needs them. This dilemma is called the benefits cliff. What it means for Lynn is that even with a full-time job, at the end of the month, she's still struggling. Here's how this is possible. Let's compare Lynn's monthly net income at two stages. The first is seven years ago, when she was working around 25 hours a week at a minimum wage so job. I, when I was working at the cleaners and I got on HUD, they paid about a little more than half of, of my rent. So it was around... HUD is the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Among its many programs, it subsidizes rent for low-income families. And I was getting about um, five, around $500 in food stamps. It went up a little At bit that time, the total benefits she received was around $856 a month. This, plus her income, is a rough estimate of the amount she relied on. Let's call it her monthly total. I liked working there. It was a good job and everything. But it's like I knew if I stayed there a year from now, I'd be exactly where I am. And I need to do something to be better. So I thought, I better, I need to go to school. But Lynn I studied really to become a health technician. She lived off financial aid for two years as she finished her degree. Lynn started working at St. Charles Heart and Lung Specialist a year ago. And so then as soon as I got like a couple of paychecks so I knew what to report, then I gave that to food stamps and HUD. And that dropped my food stamps to zero. And my rent went up $550. And then just recently it went up to $750 a month, and I get zero food stamps. Lynn's monthly total is now around $1,630. That's around $74 more a month than when she was working part-time at the cleaners. This is at a time when she's making more money an hour than she's ever made in her life. <laughs> 